Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning. How are you all? You can respond. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We had a blessed time yesterday in the presence of God. I'm so happy to see all of you today morning. Amen. Expecting to hear from God, not from man. Amen. The more we come prepared, the more we go with a blessing. Amen. No one is perfect and no one can be perfect. Amen. But we are all working towards perfection. Praise God. Amen. And the word of God was given for the perfecting of the saints. Amen. So when each of us come with a heart, Lord, I'm not perfect, but I want to be perfect. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. God will give you grace. Hallelujah. God will give you his word. Hallelujah. And God will give you his calm assurance. Hallelujah. Amen. And if God be with us, who can be against us? Amen. Praise and with God, we are more than conquerors. Amen. So thank you so much for inviting me. Thank you so much for being here today. And may God bless us all. Amen. Praise God. Yesterday we just uh, uh, covered some points about uh, fruit bearing disciples. Disciples must bear fruits. And that's what Jesus said in John chapter 15 verse 8. We heard, took that as a key verse yesterday. That if you bear fruit, you glorify my father. And by this you will be called my disciples. So every disciple must be fruit bearing. And at the same time, you must have bring fruits from within you by the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We must look at the fruits in a person if he is a believer. Amen. Not the gifts. That's also something that we learned yesterday. Not all will have the gift of prophecy, but all must have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Not all will be able to preach, that's fine. Not all will be able to play guitar like Joshua played, like the organ that we you know. If I play that, you will all run away. Amen? Praise God, you know. But all have different gifts, praise God. But they all need to bring fruits of the Holy Spirit. Amen? <coughs> and that is what is the reasonable thing that God expects from each one of us. Amen? So whatever your age is, how many days you've been in Christianity? How long you've been a believer? Amen. Your attitude should be, Lord, I want to bear much fruit. Amen. And the tree that is planted beside waters, amen, bears much fruit. Amen. The tree that is pruned, allows to be pruned, bears much fruit. Praise God. And Jesus is actually the true vine and we are the branches. Praise God. Amen. And if we are connected with the true vine, hallelujah. Amen. Let me tell you, you don't have to do much, anything by your own effort. The fruits will be visible. Amen. Your only effort should be that you be connected to the vine. Many people try to make fruits, but many times God calls it hypocrisy. Hallelujah. Why? Because they are not connected with the tree. The tree is our Lord Jesus Christ. God himself. Amen. And when you are connected with him, you don't have to put great effort at all. Hallelujah. Amen. Your leaves will never wither. Praise God. The Bible talks about leaves as medicines. Amen. And what is that in our life? Amen. The words that we speak. Amen. That's what yesterday also from the psalm we read. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart should be what? Pleasing to him. Praise God. But many a time we try to please people with our words. Amen. But God looks at even our inward thoughts. Amen. And that's where we need to look at today. Amen. God is not interested in content. God is interested in intent. Amen. And if your intent is good, God will bring good content out of you. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So always it's a process of self-examination. In Christianity, it's always a process of self-examination. Not to examine others, but to examine yourself. Not to judge others, but to judge yourself. Amen. And the more you continue to do that, let me tell you. Amen. God will look at you. Amen. And he will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. And that's what we all want to hear, right? 
Hallelujah. Amen. The word is servant. Amen. And that's perfect example was what Jesus showed us how a servant should be. Amen. I, I recollect that scene when Jesus washed everyone's feet. You know, in those days, the least of them as is supposed to wash everyone's feet before dinner. The least of all. But Jesus and the 12 disciples, they came and sat and nobody wanted to do that. Because one holds the keys of the kingdom of God.